You've watched our matches from home all around the world. And you've cheered us on. We are all staying at home and applauding you. Thank you to all the healthcare and essential workers around the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato. Mulțumesc. Merci. Thank you. Obrigado. Thank you. 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 We can all do our bit to fight the coronavirus. Stay home. Save lives. Hi, I'm Bethany Maddox-Sands, and I'm coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm Vashik Pospisil from Whistler, Canada. Very different, very cold. <laughs> A little chilly up there. It's pretty hot yeah. up here. But we are coming together right now as Tennis United. Both tours right now, both the men, the women, the WTA, the ATP. We've had a few canceled events. We have a lot of players that aren't playing tennis right now. Actually, we have a lot of players that aren't really sure what the future holds. We rely on the tournaments and the tours being up and running. And right now, we're kind of in limbo. I'm, I'm you know, relatively young, and uh, as you know, but uh, never seen the world be, be this united, to be honest. This is the first time where I feel like everyone is really in sync and, try, and, and uh, a lot of uh, teamwork all around the world. So. Yeah, this is affecting everyone worldwide. And I think now more than ever, we need to come together and help each other. I think it's time that, that the tours got together and, and kind of got an inside look on how everyone is, is handling this. Totally, yeah. Okay, and everybody watching here, we want you all to know that this will be a weekly show. We're gonna provide you with interviews sort of social media roundup on what players are up to player insights what we're doing at home are they hanging out with their pets are they still training basically all the info that we can get from the tennis world we're gonna have some interviews we want to we want to dig deep a little bit we'll come to you once a week so stay tuned for that i, f I feel like Vasek and i are going to get it out of everyone i think so first things first we're going to give you a peek where we are streaming from Hey guys, it's Vashik here. I am going to show you my place where I'm quarantining. This is my backyard. Got my pool, my waterfall, hot tub, cornhole, badminton, mini tennis, soccer tennis. This is where it's all happening. And there is my quarantine pal, Demir. Hey, you doing? He's gonna make some food. He's one of my really close friends. I have my little in-house garage gym. Got my bike, got an impulse machine, glute ham, indoor walker, bench press. I feel like this is pretty, this is pretty complete. Yeah, this is the pad. This is the living room. Got a little bit of gaming going on. That's more Demir, less me for sure. That's my little mini guitar where I just jam out. So this is actually how we are making all decisions while we are currently in quarantine. We have Ozark, cornhole, learn some Italian, snack, wine. We'll just put on snack because I'm kind of hungry right now. This is my little workstation. Believe it or not, I've actually been working quite a bit. I'm working pretty hard in the mornings and then around like four or five o'clock, which is right about now, I start to shut it down. This is where we keep the waistline nice and trim with the so cake. After the cake, we transition to the comfortable orange couch where I think we all have our own little spot that is molded to our body. You know what, here's the hot tub. So this is, we've used it a couple times already. Look at that. What a view. I honestly didn't realize how many tournament towels I had till I started taking them out of storage. One of my goals coming out of this quarantine is to be a pool hall hustler. So I need to clear this off so I can start practicing. Okay guys, talk to you soon. First up, I got Sonia. Sophia, Peter, whoever, however you want to call her, Vasic, who are you bringing in? We got Felix Ojeleasim on the line, my good friend, Davis That's Cup right. teammate. Yes. yes. Uh, hey, hey we're, we're smiling. We're smiling, buddy. I think their combined age equals mine right now. So, uh, but that's okay. Uh, that's okay. But back to Sonia. Uh, I lovingly call her Peter. Okay, I'm Peter <laughs> and everyone. It was fans in Dubai screaming, come on, Peter. And I was about to tell them to shut up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like people were confused. They were like, Sonia, Sophia, like which one is it? And I said, guys. Well, which one is it? Uh, Sophia is my name, obviously. Sonia is a Russian nickname. So it's okay. Oh, so it's Sophia. Now, yeah. Felix? Tell me, tell me where you are right now. I'm in Montreal, family's home, all the families here, my dad, sister, 
uh it's actually been six months i haven't been like since last september so i was planning on coming back after miami but i guess i just came back uh earlier than expected so um no i'm uh i'm at the family's home have you been playing some darts? You got some. Uh, you got a dart board. Yeah, bro, the, I got uh, the darts. My yeah. dad set up the darts. <laughs> the little Canadian, little Canadian <laughs> flags. I mean, if you're not a patriot, then I don't know who look is. Look at these. I mean, look at this guy. Look at these. I mean, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I know you, Sonia. I know you're still working out because that's who you are. But like, how intense are you going? Like, I I feel like you'd be at a hundred. But tell me. I mean, I'm doing two hours of tennis every day. I'm getting in my fitness. So I'm, you know, people say this is a good time to take uh, like a little mini vacation. There's no vacation. I'm working out, trying to keep active and just waiting for all this to pass by. So when a tour starts, I'm ready to continue the momentum that I had. Yeah, and let's talk a little bit about that because you started the year on fire. You know, how does that feel like having such a great run at Australian Open and then not even a month later, uh, you, there's a pause in the schedule? Yeah, obviously it's uh, it's unfortunate. You know, it's everything was going. I felt like I was playing best tennis. So, um, I mean, yeah, it's, not, it's obviously really different, but just going to try to keep positive and everyone's in this position. So... Hopefully everyone get this virus in check and uh, we'll start the tour soon and everyone come together and just uh, start off stronger than ever. Felix, excuse me, I got to call you out on something, Felix, for one second here. I think I challenged you on uh, Instagram and uh, you just gave me the uh, you iced bro, me, bro. I was not, you iced I was not me. having it. Was it you like a J-Lo dance challenge? <laughs> no, it was... I was uh, not having that. You had to... Um, I was juggling a toilet paper, my feet. <laughs> no, I was... And it was honestly, I, I think I, I, I thought maybe I would, uh, I would intimidate everybody with that video because I actually did pretty well. Felix and Sonia, I both want you guys to give me a little bit of an inspirational message. Well, yeah, for me, like what's valid for everyone, not only, you know, players is uh, connecting with family. Like I, I wasn't home for a long time. I'm sure like a lot of players as well. And, uh, you know, getting talks with uh, your parents, with your siblings and, and talking on the phone with people that you haven't talked in a while and just, um, you know, connecting about the important thing, which is uh, the people close to you. Uh, uh, that, that was really good for me. The most important thing is not to get down. You know, obviously there's, it's kind of hard to be motivated, you know, in these tough conditions, you don't know when you're going to start playing again, but I just try to tell myself and my dad also tells me, you know, just keep playing and keep grinding, keep working hard. You know, the tour is going to start and everyone will come together and, no, but right now I think the first cons first priority is for us to stay safe, everyone, and mm -hmm. get past it. And then once the tour starts, everything's gonna everything's gonna be great. Love it. That's a great message. Nice. Light at the end That's of the tunnel. Join the Actually, what if I make this shot dude. backward? Oh man, dude! If you make this shot, <laughs> you're, you're recording. Please let Do me it. see this. The legend. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I broke it. Broke it, dark. <laughs> Wait. Donna, it's you and I. All right, how are we doing? Good to catch up with you. Tell me, tell me, where are you right now? I'm actually home in Croatia. I can tell you, I haven't been home home this much since I was like 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I know, this is different for tennis players. We're not used to this amount of time at home. I'm starting to go a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I see you're cooking up a storm. I'm following you on Instagram. Tell me, uh, is this something that you usually do in your home or is this something new you're picking up? I like to cook and I enjoy, but obviously if we're like training the whole day, then, you know, when I come back home, I'm not really in the mood to cook. So I would just order something. But now where I have like so much extra time, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really enjoying it. The only like bad thing is like, I'm constantly on Instagram, like looking for new recipes. So it's like making me hungry all the time. <laughs> I can tell you that's definitely my biggest motivation for uh, for training then I'm doing like a lot of yoga a lot of pilates something that's not really usually part of my my routine so I, I've been mixing it up a little bit so it's a lot more uh, enjoyable and fun now I'm with you on that now I watched a little bit of the news in Croatia and there was there was an earthquake tell me how are you how how is everything over there how are your friends family um, yeah we had a huge earthquake in Zagreb um, 
I live two hours away from Zagreb, so I was personally not affected, but it was a really crazy time, especially now dealing with Corona and then with the earthquake as well, it was it was uh, definitely not an easy time. It's important to kind of have those, you know, priorities in your life where you can feel like you can get a little positive bump or a pep talk. And um, I, I, I have my own kind of team that keeps me, keeps me upbeat and keeps me inspired. But um, ta who have you been following on the tennis tour? Everyone's posting a lot more on social media. What players have you been keeping up with? I've been like really uh, enjoying following all the challenges like Yannick Sinner, he did the pizza challenge to make a pizza of himself. I think I'm gonna try to make uh, his challenge in the next couple of days and try to do a pizza. I've never made a pizza before so let's see. <laughs> I bake. I don't cook as much but any desserts, baked cookies, muff you want banana bread like I'm your girl. I made unbelievable cookies today. They were okay. They were like Oh my god, they were unreal. It was vegan and gluten-free, so technically it's I it's good for you. <laughs> it's not even a cheat. That's awesome. No, I'm gluten-free too, dude. Uh, that's that's amazing. Send it to me. So, but thanks for coming on. Thanks for chatting with us, and it's really good to catch up with you, Donna. Yeah, thanks for having me. And now, everyone, it's time to get a little social. This is amazing, though. I mean, I kind of have a little anxiety because once they lose this ball, like the ball's gone. The fun's over. I hope they have a backup. To be honest, uh, they seemed very disappointed when they missed. I have a bad feeling that that was the only tennis ball they had. So for their sake, I hope uh, I hope they found something else to do after this. Let's see what we got here. What's next? Oh, yes. The legend. This is a little bit like the weather you have, though, huh? It's snowing there. Yes. Come on. It's like it's like. Uh, well, yeah, this yeah, this is just this is classic. I mean, in all honesty, these are all shots that he actually does hit in matches. It's like it's, it's not that not impressive. Weird. You're right. <laughs> what is this? This is the J. Listen, this is the J Lo challenge. Oh my god! <laughs> this is just cre this is like I feel like I'm on some kind of like weird psychedelic like experience right now. This is. I didn't. I have not seen this one. I'm seeing this for the first time. This is a, this is a ca yes, a cameo from from Young Leo. <laughs> I love it. Let's see what's next here. Yes, this is Fidelina's version of it. It's the same one. Yes, it's exactly the same. Wow, she's like she's very serious. She's, I think she she might be a professional dancer. One. Uh, no, legit second career. Gonna to the next level. Right here. Oh, I saw this one. I, I haven't seen. One. I haven't seen this one. This is a great one. This is a great one. I, I believe this is uh, Juan Sebastian's uh, young son. I would assume. Yes, come on. Uh, because he's got pretty much the exact same forehand as him. <laughs> it's it's that's what you notice, right? It's the same forehand. Not that they're quarantined in the same house. No, it's the same forehand. Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh my goodness, who's this? This is Ellen Perez in Australia. So it's she's like the challenge was working out with your pet, and so she's base she's doing squats with her pet. Wow, that's a cute puppy. I know. What is next? Here we got coming Songa. Oh, I, yes, I saw this one. How amazing is this? Just a jam session. You know what, this one, I actually thought his son was playing the guitar for a second there. I was like, oh my gosh, he's incredible. He's like a young little phenom. But but then I realized it was a little bit like the equivalent to lip syncing, except he was on the guitar. Let's see what we got next. Oh, this is insane. What watch is this? Watch this side. Watch this, Kiki Mal this is Kiki Moldanovich. Look at this shot right here. Un right wow. straight in like the best part is her reaction actually she's just standing there like like not even super surprised she just kind of does a simple like all right what do we got next year i saw this one as well this is insane yeah, I, I saw this too but it it's not as impressive because it well I, I guess it is they're using ping pong balls aren't they no this is a different kind of ball i'm not really oh. sure what that reaction is supposed to it's kind of a it's like a half smile <laughs> Apparently yeah. it's someone's birthday today. Let's see what this is. In quarantine. In quarantine. That was that was me like a couple weeks ago. Oh. Very dark. <laughs> was it actually his birthday or is This is Stan. Stan has been absolutely hysterical on social media, by the way. I haven't actually seen this one. <laughs> oh. 
This is amazing. He's happy. Oh my God, those are six stands. It's a party of stands. I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh. I was like, who are all those people suddenly? I don't know. If yeah. he, he must be a social media guru or he's got a great team around him. That's pretty impressive. Pretty oh, good. yes. I saw this picture. I was talking with A couple Isla. goals. Yes. Oh, she come was, on. They're in Florida. And this is, oh, no. this is amazing. Like he's like putting the work in and like, she's just like, yeah, that, this is what I expect. Oh, I saw this. I didn't see this. I <laughs> saw this. I laughed out loud, I'm gonna be honest. I feel bad for her because I, she probably hurt herself, but I, I assume she's okay. Otherwise the video wouldn't be online. So I really hope she's okay. But I laughed out loud when I saw that. But did, like, like, did all the, the, like the glass with the china, did that all break? Like what? I'm trying to say, oh my God. <laughs> My favorite video uh, of all of those was probably the granny hitting the table and falling over. <laughs> <laughs> Done. All right. I'm going to give it to Deminar and Kiki because the golf shots, it, honestly, those are the ones I watched Kiki's probably 10 times in a row trying to figure out like how she hit this and it went exactly into that glass of water. And if you guys want to see your video up here, tag us in your videos using the hashtags tennis at home and home court. And then we will go through those and pick our favorites and uh, hopefully see it next week. Hey everybody, I'm here with Yannick Sinner, the 2019 ATP Next Gen Finals Champion. Hey Yannick, how's it going, man? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, not too bad. Uh, where are you? I'm in Monaco, I'm in Monaco. Italy, it's, uh, it's, it's not that well, but hopefully it's, it's, it's going to be better. You're actually doing some pretty cool stuff. I saw on your, uh, uh, on your Instagram. Tell us a little bit about that, actually. Yeah, we decided to make this kind of pizza challenge to donate uh, some money for Italy. I think the money will go to Bergamo, which is in a very bad situation. Um, many people are unfortunately dying and uh, they don't have uh, so many hospitals there. I think they're creating one. I just would like to uh, help a little bit Italy with obviously not so much money as, as they need, but or other people who have to make this kind of pizza and with, with a kind of face on the pizza and, uh, and just write hashtag uh, Sinner Pizza Challenge and, uh, cool. and, and hopefully, hopefully they, can, they can make as many, as many pizzas as, as they can and, uh, and we can donate some money. What is the challenge specifically? And this is, uh, you can make the face of or me or uh, other Italian, um, whatever, you know, it's, uh, it's, it, it's not that important, the face, you know, yeah. it's, uh, I was, yeah, I was, I was going to say realistically, I don't know if, uh, if, uh, <laughs> we can make a uh, pizza look like you, especially with, uh, your hair, hair now, huh? it'd be tough to replicate that hair on a pizza <laughs> right now. So who would you, like, if you had, if you had your dream, let's say tennis players or people, if they were. Just to kind of I don't know for me to raise money. For me, I mean, for me, it's important that especially Italian guys are doing this kind of challenge. I don't have one specific one, or uh, I mean, me and my agency, uh, uh, the Star Wings, are are trying to put this together. Maybe somewhere else they can yeah. do this this kind of challenge. Yeah, but Yannick, hey, thanks so much for your time. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the same for you. Thank you. Take care. And uh, now we have a little challenge here um, by none other than Roger himself. And I think this is the, the hat tap challenge. Hat tap challenge, boom. We're in on this. That's the one. I feel like this is a challenge I could really get into. I, I mean, he's making it look easy, but that's everything that Roger does. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned doing this one myself because my hat game is not great. What? Uh, so I'm, I, yeah, it's, I'm not good. Novak did this as well. I think he jumped right on this. So I feel like this is this is a challenge I can get, get behind. This, uh, I'm yeah. in. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Wow, he's quick. Good enough. Wait, Roger. but is, so are, is Novak counting his hair as a hat though? I'm just... I mean, I would accept <laughs> yeah. that. I think he might have missed the point of uh, wearing a hat, but <laughs> uh, I'm I like in on it. this challenge. Vasek, we're doing it. Yeah, I'll do it. I just got to figure out my hat situation. You got I'll, this. I'll, I'll, I believe in you. I got it. I got it. Okay. I'll, All right. Embarrassing. Done. And guys, make sure you join us next week because we'll, be have, we'll have tons of new content, new guests, 
Uh, we're gonna keep it fun. And remember fans, send in your content, use the hashtags tennis at home and hashtag home court. And remember just stay inside.